Hello and welcome to Excel Biology YouTube channel. In this channel, you will find biology lessons for English medium students who study for uh, GCA level national syllabus in Sri Lanka. So, if I introduce myself to you, I'm a biology teacher. I have worked as a, an English medium biology teacher and uh, in this channel I will do lessons from the beginning of the uh, national syllabus uh, from unit 1. So if you have seen the biology syllabus there are 10 units so out of that we will start from the unit 1 introduction to biology so this is the smallest and easiest unit uh, that uh, but it gives you the basics and the background needed for the entire syllabus so we'll go to the lesson unit one introduction to biology here the first thing is that we need to identify what is biology and why we are learning biology uh, so what what is the importance of learning biology if we take the term biology what is biology the ter in the in this term biology it has formed out of two words bio and logy the first one bio is actually the term is bios uh, the meaning of the first part bios is the life and then the second part logy or logos is the study of so biology means the study of life study of living organisms what is life what is living organism so biology biology we 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 say it is the science of studying living organisms if we are going to study living organisms we should be able to identify what is life we can differentiate life or living organisms from non-living objects but if we just take the word life it is not easy to define it is we believe it's a complex uh, thing that we cannot explain using law other scientific laws so we um, it is uh, the life is a very complex part but we are going to study biology so we have to make it easy we should be able to identify what is life and differentiate living organisms and study them so for the convenience of studying we have div we divide biology into three primary branches they are zoology botany and microbiology zoology is the study of animals and botany is the study of plants microbiology is the study of microorganisms like bacteria the uh, organisms that we can't see by our naked eye and there are many areas under these branches some of them are We'll, we'll go through them one by one. The first one, cell biology. Cell biology is the study of cells. We study plant cells, animal cells, my, the microbial cells. Um, their structures, function, what's happening inside. So, they come under cell biology. 
then the next thing histology histology is the study of uh, tissues we have uh, tissues in our in organisms made up of cells so we study different tissues some um, we in if we take humans we have uh, epithelial tissues muscle tissues um, connective tissues so like that there are so many tissues to, and if we take plants there are uh, vascular tissues epithelial tissues again so like that that study of tissues is called histology the next part is anatomy anatomy is the study of the that is the structural uh, features that is studying about the gross structure of the body or of the organism study how they are arranged how uh, how they are made of so that structural uh, the study of that structural features that comes under anatomy and then the next one is physiology physiology is the study of uh, the function studying the function of these organisms like uh, inside our body there is blood circulation uh, excretion respiration there are so many functions if we take plants they they have photosynthesis they absorb water they transport water like that there are many functions so that study of those functions is called they that comes under physiology next part is biochemistry but bio chemistry is the studying of um, biological molecules we have different biological molecules we have carbohydrates proteins dna rna like that different types of biological molecules studying of these biological molecules is called the uh, that comes under biochemistry next one genetics genetics is how our genes work how things are inherited from one generation the from the parental generation to the uh, next generation how pe uh, people get these genetic character how how organisms get these characteristics so that study is called studying inheritance is called that uh, studying inheritance comes under genetics so the, then the last one is ecology that is our environment uh, studying the environment that we live we have uh, we have interactions with our environment we live uh, like uh, if we take an aquatic organism they live in uh, fresh water or, or, or oceans or and uh, if it is a tropical animal they live in a forest and if it is uh, if we take our, our humans we have our own surrounding environment so study of this environment is called ecology so these are the areas that come under the major branches of biology so in this first part we discussed what is biology and as the next part in this unit we have to identify why we study biology that means some issues in uh, uh, issues that we can address if we learn biology so we'll discuss that in our next lesson thank you